Hey guys, good evening. How's it going, Team Beast? <clears throat> good evening, Team Beast. For those of you joining us for the very first time, thank you for clicking on Beast Capacity Outdoors. I'm your leader, Team Beast, Daddy Beast, and this is a quick video. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. See what it edit is up to. Um, I need some new shoes. foot shoes and so I'm making myself sun sandals uh, you can find this pattern on Etsy I just have cowhide over here that I'm going to be using it's an, uh, it appears it, it was on an odd lot sale and it's like a, a chocolate brown coffee brown java brown and it's like an oil tan. Oh, excuse me. It's like an oil tan kind of stain to it. I'll show you here in a little while. I just printed off the file. It was like a buck or two off of Etsy for the digital file. <coughs> um, I also have Gilly Brooks, um, which are just it's it, they're kind of like these, except they got finger tabs basically all around the front and they you know you know I'll, I'll do a pair of those later oh, itchy nose I'll do a pair of those later um, but I've got these this started here because I like barefoot shoes I can't stand my feet being in foot coffins I'm gonna get into this I'm gonna finish cutting this out it's a three-piece pattern prints out on regular paper eight and a half by elevens um, borderless printing and it's printed off a PDF form and yeah in the background if you hear it I've got um, the American flute music going um, this is based off of European shoe sizes um, and I don't I, I imagine but because they all run run theirs off of like uh, a centimeter or something like that however they do their sizing but um, I got this figured out uh, on the 44 uh, for this style of shoe so I cut out printed it cut out the pattern taped it up um, and yeah it's, it's real simple shoe design and it's all there's no sewing involved no hand sewing so you know no needles and thread kind of thing <clears throat> it's all done with the leather it's punching holes and lacing it up. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this so we don't have a super long video. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this out really quick. Now there there are lines in here. I had to redo some of the lines because <coughs> this is a transferred hand drawn pattern. And this one I got this one for free um, and so uh, I kind of it was probably a lesser quality version of the one she sells uh, online but or this was like her first draft version because on the video I saw on how to put this together it looked totally different to a degree I hope your loved ones have been safe through this and those that have had loved ones that have been affected by this I'm sorry I've known I've known several people that have not encountered well uh, their introduction to this 
evil, nasty despot that is COVID. And the Native American music in the background, flute music. Um, it's just some random stuff that I found. in my plethora of stuff that I've got of music from the days of when I was younger and <clears throat> visiting family and friends and stuff on the reservations and powwows and stuff like that I used to go to And friends that have done music and made tapes and stuff so I find this I've got the door open because I can hear the birds and outside noises and which sounds of nature mix really well with uh, Native American flute music so. Well, as you can see, I'm almost done cutting this out. There we go. Okay, there we go. And then for the for the holes, I'll just put a dot on the pattern. My punch hole. When it comes time to it, I'm going to grab the leather. <clears throat> and I'll be right back. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Got a little sidetracked. And one of my friends calling me up. You know, this whole social distance thing kind of gets us all. But, um, so, okay. I've gone through and done a few things. I traced the pattern. Traced the pattern out on the leather. I mean, look at this beautiful leather. I mean, I love this nice oil skin stuff. Um, there is still two sides to this. There's a chrome side of the leather and a rough side. So I've got the rough side on the inside. I got left and right. Oh, shoot. Do I remember which was left and right? Yes, I do. Okay. I better mark it while I'm thinking of it. Right here in the heel. There are left and rights to this pattern. But yeah, I went ahead and traced them out. They're not all cut out. And I did punch the holes on these. I used uh, for these holes right here I used a what does it say? Oh, my eyeballs. A 3 millimeter hole punch. You can find these on Amazon for 20 bucks. So I punched those holes. I cut the laces. Um, I see holes down here. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was on so long, my music stopped. I'm going to have to redo it. Um, punch these small stop holes with um, 1.5s. And then, yeah, I started cutting out the toes and all that. And what I'm kind of cutting them with say kind of because I'm not using it for the whole thing, is my Fiskars round rolling la uh, razor cutter. And, you know, from the outside edges. It helps with curves, almost like a head knife. Um, does for you. And then I'll have to go through with my straight edge and pop them something like here and here and here in the heel. Um, Still need to finish cutting that from the stop holes. Oops. There we go. And then I gotta finish cutting these right here. And then we can actually put it together. The laces, you, you cut from the same leather, 
and you want to go just about double the thickness so these are these are about just over sixteenth of an inch so maybe three thirty seconds yeah I think I'll go ahead and do this finish cutting this one out first Kind of nice. That's how the back end goes. Just kind of folds up inside there. Oh, let's see. Make sure. Tip it. There we go. Start on the inside. Make sure they're nice and even. Boop, there we go. It's a simple just lace and weave, lace and weave up the back side here. We just kind of shoelace it in, pull it so it tightens up. Just kind of did that. But on the inside, it's still laced up. It's going straight up. Okay. Got it fixed. Now, outside, then in, down the cross, then up. Okay, failed attempt. It broke. So, what I need to do, because this is thick leather, is I need to get a skewer here. creases on the inside so I gotta I gotta go here. Let's see, I'll mark it this way so y'all can see it. For thicker leathers, I'm gonna have to crease it a little bit. So here move some of this. Basically, just moving some of the meat out of the center of these things. Oh yeah, this one will work much better. This one's got a, a wider V. All right, let me finish this, and I'll be back. That works much better. Just a matter of having to mark it and move it. 
at the center and yeah get the pre creases in there hint or a side note for everybody who's going to do this um, pattern from this this girl um, I'll be sure to if I remember drop the Etsy link in the comments below or the not comments the description below so that way you guys can order the, the pattern There, maybe that'll work. There we go. If I remember, I'll... put the link to her shop, or Etsy page, or the Etsy pattern for this in the description below. So you can... Yeah, your shoe, oop, I should be over here. Yeah, your shoe will probably last 10 times longer. It's going to be a pain in the butt. In centimeters, of course. Once you get it all tightened up, you don't want to you want to over screw yourself like I did. top and cross over In the top, cross over in the top, I will have to wear these in the water. cross under this so you can tie them on top very crude shoe but it'll work oh no it's about right 
Well, there we have it. I don't need to do the other one. I will finish that up. A little rude, a little crude. But they are soft shoes. They are not soft shoes. Yeah, well, they're soft shoes, but they're very soft feeling. But no, they're... Um, Come on, brain. Barefoot style shoes. Whew. There you have it. Team Beast. Probably a little long right now. But, like I said, I'm going to finish this up inside. I'll probably be wearing these tomorrow. Breaking them in. Just simple. Dirt Road Boy. Survivalish. Medieval looking shoes. I'm going to get out of here. Hopefully I'll be back in the shop tomorrow. Feeling better. Maybe the tree guys will be here. Maybe they won't. I'll have a video of that when they come. So I'll see you. I gotta go. I gotta lock up and get out of here. Get in the house. Finish this up. So talk to you later. Over that. Good. I'm, yeah, I'm all out of the place. I'm all over the place. Anyhow, Team Beast. Be good. Be kind. Team Beast. All the way. Catch you on the next video.